Hey guys, I'm Marissa and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you a full tutorial on a new spreadsheet template that is up on my Etsy shop. I will have a link to it down in the description box down below so you can check it out. And that is a loan amortization schedule. So let's get into it. So first off, you may be like, what is a loan amortization schedule and do I need one? So basically a loan amortization schedule just shows you your payment every single month and it breaks down to show you how much you're paying towards interest and principal every month and then shows you the ending balance. So a lot of times you'll receive one of these when you get a mortgage, they'll give you a schedule showing you every single payment that you're going to make over that 30 year mortgage and that is what this template is. But the awesome thing about this template is that it will then show you when this loan will be paid off and it also has an area for you to record extra principal payments that you make towards your loan so that then you can track and see when your loan may be paid off if that'll be sooner if you're making extra payments. So you can use this template if you are working on paying off a loan that has a fixed interest rate. It will not work for anything with a variable interest rate, just a forewarning. And I also wanna share that this template is not financial advice and it will only work if you input your information exactly and correctly, otherwise it will not. And so it's up to you to ensure that you're putting in the correct information for the template to work. But you can use this template for a home mortgage, you could use it for a car loan, a student loan, any kind of debt that you're working on paying off. It needs to have a fixed interest rate and also a term or like the time period of the loan. So let's get into the tutorial and I'll show you guys how it works. So first off, there is an instructions tab and so please be sure to read through all of this information before you start using the template so that you know how to use it correctly. But when you're ready, you can just click on the tab that says amortization schedule and this is where you're going to enter in all of your information. I also wanna show you how to duplicate this if you want to have an amortization schedule for another type of loan. Just simply right click the tab and then you can click move or copy and then you can click create a copy and it'll then duplicate that for you. So you could have two of them here and you could have one for your mortgage, one for a car loan or whatever that may be. So I just wanna show you how to do that. So now is where you need to input your information. Please only input your information in the highlighted green cells. Do not touch anything else that is yellow. If you put input any information there, it will not work. So only enter information in the green cells. So first we have is the original loan amount. So let's say that your loan is $350,000. And then your interest rate, and it needs to be a fixed interest rate, we can say that it was 3.25%. The loan period in years, you can say that you took out a 30 year mortgage. And the number of payments per year, which is going to be 12. And the date of the first payment. So this is going to be the first payment that you made on this loan. So let's say um, 11, 1, 20. And there you go. All of our information is now entered and you can see a full schedule. It shows you what your monthly payment is, how much of that is interest and how much is principal. And as you can see, you pay a lot more in interest than you do in principal in these beginning months. But let's scroll down to the bottom and it'll show you here every payment and here it ends at zero. But what if you decide to make some extra principal payments? you can just go ahead and enter that for the date. So right now I'm recording this in February. So let's say that in February, you decide to make an extra $1,000 principal payment. Then that'll reduce your loan balance. And when you scroll back down to the bottom, you can see that it then shows you when this loan is going to be paid in full. So the ending paid in full balance is going to be 9-1 of 2050. So here you can see that that extra payment reduced the amount of time for your loan. The other thing that I really like about this spreadsheet and why I've made it is because there are calculators out there that you could find online that'll calculate like when you could have a loan paid off based on having an extra principal payment the same every single month. But for us personally, I know that we don't put the same amount to extra principal every month. It definitely varies because that's a goal that we're working on and it's going to vary every month. So what I love about this is that you could play around and you could say, okay, $1,000 one month, let's say 500 the next, and then 200 and then uh, 2000. And then you can just update this every single month to show. And then here at the bottom, again, whoops, too far, it'll then show you how much further ahead you can be when this loan is paid in full. 
The other thing that I want to note, and so that you can make sure that all of this is correct, make sure that you input the correct information, is to check on this ending balance once you make a loan payment to ensure that this ending balance is correct to what your loan provider says. So that's going to be your check to make sure that all the information that you entered is correct. And same thing when you make an extra principal payment, you can just ensure that that ending balance is correct. So let's assume that you've already made extra principal payments. This is going to change the rest of the schedule. So you're going to use these two little cells here. So if you already made extra principal payments, you need to enter your current balance. Please note that at the beginning, you need to enter your original loan balance, not your current loan balance. So the original loan is originally how much you took out, but let's say that your current loan balance right now is 320,000. And as of 2-1-21, please note that when you are putting in the date, it needs to match the same day of the month as the numbers in the date column. So let's say 2-1-21, it will then highlight this so that you can see in red, it'll highlight the date showing you the date that you selected and then the updated balance is now 320,000. So just note that these first initial months because you put you know an extra $30,000 to the mortgage as an extra principal payment, this balance isn't going to accurately reflect that in the beginning before the red cell, but after the red cell, it's all going to be correct going forward. And as you can see, then it'll show you that you will be paid in full earlier because of that extra payment. And then as you can see, the rest of the uh, cells are all paid in full. So let me just show you that if you enter here, like let's say 211, it's not going to work. So you need to make sure that as the current date balance, you need to make sure that it's the same date of the month as the dates that you have listed in that column for the formula to work. You can also use the schedule if the term of your loan is less. So let's say you have a 15 year mortgage We'll input that here and that'll change all of the payments and as you can see it'll show paid in full earlier here so you just won't have to worry about the rest of the time period but the schedule is set up to have a 30-year loan so that's how you can use this template to be able to track your progress in paying off your debt and also see when you may be debt free Again, this template is not financial advice, but it's a tool that you can use and hopefully will help aid you on your loan payoff progress. But remember that you are the one who is responsible to make sure that you are inputting the correct information here in these top cells. So if you want to get this template, I have it available on my shop as of today. So I will leave a link to it down below in the description box and you can check it out there. Very affordable. It's an instant download, works in Google Sheets, Excel, Numbers, any program that you're working with so you can check it out and I hope that this will be helpful for you guys in your loan payoff progress. So with that, I will look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.